We continue the final arc. The battle between Kanto Manji vs Tokyo Manji is still going on. As Mikey allows himself to be completely taken over by his dark impulses, he thinks to himself that he doesn't have to hold back his pain, and that he can finally let loose. Mikey then immediately lunges at Takemichi with Harichio's katana in his hands, and proceeds to attack Takemichi relentlessly while laughing to himself. Takemichi tries to attack Mikey again and again, but each time he is inflicted with a new injury from Mikey. All the while, Harichio calls out to Takemichi, telling him that Mikey and his dark impulses are inseparable, and that everyone who tried to rid Mikey of the impulses met their demise one way or another. As Takemichi lunges toward Mikey, he is struck through the stomach with the katana, but refuses to fall, hugging Mikey instead. He tells Mikey that he's going to carry his dark impulses on his back, and reminding him that they are friends for life. This leads to Mikey coming back to his senses and Takemichi asking for Mikey's hand in desperation in order to time leap once more. As Takemichi is losing consciousness, he tells Mikey that he will try over and over again, until everyone can live a happy life. With Mikey finally realizing what he had done and everyone in tears, he yells out Takemichi's name one more time, and is met with no response, which prompts Mikey to scream in agony at his friend's death. As everyone is mourning Takemichi's apparent death, Mikey is shown apologizing and begging Takemichi to wake up. As a tear from Mikey falls on Takemichi's hand, Takemichi manages to somehow time leap to the even further past of 1998. Takemichi now in the body of his eight-year-old self, is in awe at what just happened and begins to question his surroundings as he once again wonders if this is some sort of vision before his death. Takemichi then proceeds to drop everything and rushes to Mikey's house, but after he rings the doorbell, a young Baji starts to question him in regards to what he's doing there. Before Takemichi could respond at all, Baji punches him in the face, and is then scolded by Sano Emma. Following this, Shinichiro and Harichio show up, with Shinichiro telling Harichio that he should have stopped Baji. Shinichiro then yells out at Mikey, who comes out of the house and meets Takemichi. As Takemichi is thinking to himself that he hasn't met any of the Sano family yet, Mikey refers to him by his nickname, which shocks Takemichi. Mikey and Takemichi slowly realize that they have both successfully time leap, after Mikey calls Takemichi by his nickname. The two run off out of excitement for escaping the tragedy they were previously caught in during the final battle between Tokyo Manji vs Kanto Manji gang. Mikey claims that he has no idea how they both time leap at the same time, as well as Takemichi, who moments earlier was on the brink of death. Overlooking the city, Mikey states that he does not understand the logic behind their recent time leap, while Takemichi shares that he initially thought that he was giving away his powers to him. Mikey asks what they should do given their current circumstances, and Takemichi concludes that they must fight together after fighting his battles for the longest time alone. From that day onward, they both relive their lives to prevent past tragedies from occurring. They established Tokyo Manji with Harichio and Kazaki in addition to its original founding members, prevent Kazutora and Baji from robbing SS Motor and killing Shinichiro, and manage to keep Emma alive. Inui, Koko, Izana, Kakucho, and Mucho have also been saved. After successfully preventing a repeat of the tragic tragedy of the past, Mikey and Takemichi are seen standing on top of a building, looking into the horizon emotionally after conquering the whole country. At Musashi Shrine, Tokyo Manji members are introduced once more. Mikey is the leader, Takemichi is his acting president, and Draken is his vice leader. Kazaki and Hanma have become staff officers, while the first, second, and third division leaders assume their old positions. Kazutora becomes the fourth division captain, Harichio and Senju the fifth division leaders, and the Kawada twins the sixth division. Taiju has become the seventh division captain, with Koko and Anupi as division members and Izana and Kakucho leading the eighth, where the former Tenjuku executives are members. 
Afterward, Mikey announces Tokyo Manji disbandment, and the crowd cheers. Eleven years later, on July 3, 2017, church bells are seen ringing from the bell tower. Seen at that time in a room Mikey talking to Takemichi. He said that in the end the two of them would no longer be able to do anything dangerous together, as do Takemichi would soon marry Hina, and Mikey left Takemichi and said, I'm gonna be lonely. Takemichi. In the next scene, Chifuyu is seen being late for the wedding procession, and soon Draken and Mikey are seen greeting him. Draken suddenly said to Chifuyu that Mikey almost fell in a very important race and almost couldn't win. Mikey evaded by saying that he was doing this on purpose to make Takemichi in the waiting room feel stressed. For a moment in his mind, Chifuyu recalled the memories with his friends in this timeline. It's been 11 years since Tokyo Manji Gang disbanded, everyone's gone forward on their own paths. Mikey is a motor racer. Draken a mechanic for Mikey team, top of Manji. And then, Koko and Kazaki are the presidents and vice president of the TK and Co. Those two rich men are from a totally different world than myself. Kurokawa Izana travels the world as the director of a non-profit organization called, Tenjiku. Meanwhile, Kakucho, Mucho, Mochi, with Izana and the others, volunteer for the underprivileged orphans. The Heitani brothers run a club. As usual, they are talking out of their asses. Harachio and Senju are striving as two beautiful sibling YouTube stars. The money is being spent out of pocket by Takeomi, the self-proclaimed producer. Shinichiro runs SS Motors, and Inui works there too. Meanwhile, Wakasa and Benke run a martial arts gym, the Gojo Gym. Toronto South is a heavyweight champion of foreign martial arts. Shiba Taiju owns many restaurants. Hake working as a top model overseas and Yuzuha as Hake's manager. Matsuya is an up-and-coming young fashion designer. Pachin and Payon own real estate. The Kawada brothers run a ramen shop together. Akun's a hairdresser. Takuya's a pharmacist. Makoto took over his family's temple. Yamagishi is a civil servant. Hanma spends his days roaming the world as a freelance photographer. Naoto is a journalist for an occult magazine. Emma is a housewife, she is married to Draken. As for me, I'm the president of Peak J Land. And I've got two incooperative and arrogant employees. Kazutora and Baji. Everyone's following the paths that they wanted to be on. Everyone was at the height of their happiness. The wedding blessing ceremony began and the priest asked about the bride and groom's willingness to marry. With tears in his eyes, Takemichi said he was willing to marry Hina. For a moment, Chifuyu who saw the wedding ceremony remembered all of Takemichi's struggles. But I am the one who knows. I know that you don't take this happiness for granted. I don't know why, but, somewhere in the back of my memory, I remember. That back, over and over again, he failed. It's a miracle he pulled it off. After that, the priest asked the groom to kiss the bride. The bride and groom kiss each other, and all of Takemichi's friends run and jump at Takemichi to congratulate him on his marriage to Hina. Then in the next scene, a wedding procession is shown, where Takemichi and Hina are seen holding hands and going down the stairs to the cheers of their friends. And the last, a farewell flower from Ken Wakui Sensei for fans of the Tokyo Revenger manga series is presented. Finally, the Tokyo Revenger series that has been with us for the last six years comes to an end. A story that inspires us all, that to achieve something we want, it's not just about power, but a determination like Takemichi's which is a real key to success. Goodbye Takemichi, thank you for everything.